you know, sometimes I just want something a little bit different than the regular stuff on the Barbie. Maybe you're the same way. Today, we're gonna do something delicious, exotic, van life simple. We're doing dim sum, van chef style. Let's go. Well, hey there, welcome. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large, a YouTube channel all about the Class B van lifestyle. What we do here is we learn together, we share together, you decide what's the best way for you to roll in your RV, whether you're no time still researching, part-time just taking cool trips, or maybe even full-time like me. I've been full-time in my van, my Winnebago Travato GL since February 2019. Today, it's about learning together on making dim sum in the van in my galley and whether or not it's worthy of sharing with you. We're gonna to learn together today. So come with me into the galley. What I wanna do is pull out the dim sum from the freezer. You might be going, ooh, gross, grocery freezer food, no good. Actually, I think I might surprise you on this because I found some dim sum at Trader Joe's. Curious if you shop at Trader Joe's very often, I might have them as my favorite grocery store now because the portions are small, it's really high quality, and it's really reasonably priced. Let me get the dim sum out of the freezer. Today we're doing two different styles, and that would be pork and ginger. Yum. <laughs> and then we're doing my favorite, which is, is pork shumai. Pork shumai is my favorite. Before we start cooking, let's talk real quick about dim sum. So if we go to our favorite source for information that would be not the Google but the Wikipedia uh, dim sum is literally most modern dim sum dishes originated in southern China in the Gangzhou area uh, in the 10th century so it's been around for a little while right travelers began to uh, frequent tea houses which um, became famous for their small portions come called yum cha which uh, means drink tea meals uh, yum cha relates to two concepts one of them being um, kind of translated into one cup, two pieces. And the second is dim sum, which literally means touching the heart. So over time, that term became uh, synonymous with um, small food items accompanying the tea drinking. Today, there's over a thousand different dim sum dishes. We're not doing a thousand, we're just doing two. Again, this is um, pork and ginger and then pork shumai. Stay to the end because the sauces for these dim sum I think are as important as the dim sum themselves. We're gonna try three different sauces. Let's get cooking. Good looking. So for today's recipe, we need two things. We need some dim sum. We need cling wrap. We need agua right here. And we need a microwave. <laughs> um, let's follow the directions. As it says, right. so the directions say uh, in a 1200 watt microwave, <laughs> demonstrating that. Um, place, uh, cut one corner of the bag, allow steam to arise. Place tray in the microwave. It cooks for two minutes. We'll cut like that. I have to let the steam escape. Now I use my, here's a hot tip for storage. I use my microwave for storing really bulky items. Since we're not gonna need those today, well, the Doritos go that way. Uh, we are going to do like this. So we're gonna put the first batch in, two minutes in the microwave. One, two, three, go. We'll see what happens. Now this one, interestingly, says for the same directions, um, place nine pieces of frozen uh, dum sum in a microwave dish. We're gonna use a paper plate, just like that. And then it says to cover uh, with plastic wrap heat on for three minutes in the microwave. So that's what we're gonna do. So these don't come in a tray, these come in a loose bag. I like pork shumai the best, um, but there's shrimp dumplings. There's a getaway shumai. <laughs> and um, just curious if you've tried dim sum yourselves. If not, you really need to try it. The thing about dim sum, two second rule, is that so sometimes the only way to get dim sum is to go to Chinatown, go to a Chinese restaurant. Usually it's on a weekend, it's packed. 
Um, so I've been looking for ways to get dim sum in the grocer's freezer. Thank you, Trader Joe's. Um, so these are done. Let's take a look at these. And I think they need another 30 seconds. Interesting. 30 seconds, we'll get to 33. And now over here, what we're gonna do is cover the plastic wrap, uh, or cover the paper plate with plastic wrap. Um, who doesn't have a little plastic wrap sitting around, right? New box. Let's see if I can get this open quick without cutting myself. And boy, I almost serrated my finger off. That's pretty dangerous. Um, hey, I'm testing some new equipment here. That would be a gimbal and a new microphone system. Let me know if that's working for you. And let me see if it's working any better than the plastic wrap. Maybe have a tip on this stuff. This is Glad, pretty good brand, but holy cow, what a project. Cover said paper plate. Oh, golly. All right. So pork, pork shumai is kind of like a pork dumpling inside of a, a little bit of a wonton wrapper. Really, really yummy. Um, this has three minutes, so let's give it three minutes. Oh, I like that. Mmm, that's smelling. That's smelling pretty good. You smell that? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, we'll let that sit for a minute. And, um... This one actually said to, um... Rinse the dumplings in water. Didn't do that. Hopefully they turn out okay. Um, all right, so we need some sauces. That's the big deal about dim sum. And what we want to do here is uh, there are several types of sauces we really need. Yeah. Soy sauce. We need the garlic uh, sauce. And then we need this stuff, which I love. It's um, chili oil with black bean sauce. So delicious. Put that down since we don't need that. And let's see how we're doing in here. It's smelling pretty good. Can you smell it? I'm kind of excited about this. Um, and one reason I like to do things different once in a while is just I get kind of tired of doing the same old thing food-wise. Um, and what it causes me to do is go out to eat, which costs me at least 20 to 30 bucks per meal. I usually have a you know adult beverage or two, and that just jacks up the price. So by doing it here in the van, I can eat um, exotic cool food and not spend a ton of money. Um, this was about $4 at uh, Trader Joe's. And again, I'm really loving Trader Joe's these days. Uh, portions are small, quality is really good. And um, if you haven't been to a Trader Joe's lately, I would highly recommend it. See how we're doing. With a beep beep, let's get them out of the microwave. just like that and let's talk about sauces so this has a, um, a very distinct flavor um, chili oil spicy but with a kind of a sweet black bean um, kind of a fermented taste um, this one you're probably familiar with this one um, it's almost like sriracha but it's um, crushed and um, garlic chili uh, really really hot and who isn't familiar with this good old soy sauce so what we're gonna do is grab a plate up above let's do that so I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna grab one of my hydro flask plates. Love these. It's gonna go right there. And then we're gonna load up some of the shumai. Pork shumais, let's put that right here. Ooh, they look good, they smell good. And then we're gonna get one of these bad boys. Again, these are the... Um... <laughs> these are the the pork and ginger, and this is the um, pork shumai on this side. So these feel pretty good. Oh, that's really, really nice. Clean hands, of course. And maybe one more. They're springy. Um, this has like um, wonton paper, um, again, uh, so yum, yum, looks pretty good. Let's grab a napkin. And let's put some sauce on the plate. Now I should probably have some separate little things for this, but it's van line, so we're gonna improvise. That's the soy sauce. This is the chili. Don't need much of that. 
and then this is the chili oil and black bean. Um, I love to eat this with rice and um, fried eggs. You can see the consistency here. It's really potent, but so delicious. All right, so let's eat. Now, it's kind of a sacrilege to use a knife and fork on this. You're supposed to use chopsticks, right? But I um, need to add it up to my shopping list. Let's take a bite of the shumai pork shumai first. Dip a little soy sauce, then the black bean. Mmm. 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 Man, oh man, is that good. Let's do the chili. Fresh chili. Mmm. Oh man. Woo. That is so good. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've not done uh, dim sum van lifestyle, mmm. Holy cow. The ginger one is really delicious. It's smooth. Um, the ginger is forward. Then you taste the pork, feel the texture. Then you taste the ginger again. Pretty amazing. Wow. I would highly recommend this. Trader Joe, thank you. Um, pork shoe. My, still my favorite, though. Mmm. Ooh, sweaty. Hey, if you got anything out of this, I sure would appreciate a thumb up. Try something different, right? That's what it's all about. RV lifestyle is experimenting, exposing yourself to new ideas, new tastes. Don't wait for Chinatown. Don't wait for a Chinese restaurant. Less than 10 bucks, you can have an amazing meal for two or three people. Probably could do some rice, maybe some tea, maybe a Chinese beer. Ooh, that'd be good too. Or just good old-fashioned black tea. Or is it green tea for Chinese? Don't know. Hey, until we see it. Excuse me, until we see you next time, I wish you to journey on. Keep eating. Mmm, so good.